Okay, we're going to uh, hear from uh, our uh, points leader in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and that's Daniel Suarez. He's the driver of the number 19 Juniper Networks Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. And Daniel, welcome. Uh, glad Hola. you're here. Uh, certainly, Daniel, the, the way that you've been performing this year has uh, been very, very impressive. Uh, you're, you're right on the edge, it looks like, to us of of getting that, that elusive first win. Talk about coming here to Phoenix and your thoughts about how your season has gone so far. Well, first of all, um, <clears throat> I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, everyone. And, and the season has been, it's been good so far. It's uh, still, uh, still early on the season, as we all know. But, uh, but I'm very proud, and I give a lot of credit to, to my team. My team has been unbelievably good. Um, we, we made a couple changes from last year to this year. And um, you know we were we were expecting to be a little bit better, but we didn't know it was you know like a like a you know trying to to gamble a little bit like every everyone does. But so far it's been good. I really feel like we are building good uh, communication with with my team, uh, with chemistry, and, uh, and I'm happy. I'm happy how things uh, have worked out so far on on this season. But uh, but I'm really looking forward for for the future and, and you know about Phoenix like I said before and and I I, I don't get t tired to, to say this but Phoenix is like uh, like my, my second home I really feel very comfortable here uh, since I was racing in the NASCAR Mexico stuff and and it's been a really good place for me uh, a lot of good fans uh, really cool racetrack different to the miles and a half that we have had in the first um, in the last couple races so, yeah, excited to, to be here. Very good. We'll take some questions for Daniel. If you have one, raise your hand. Questions for Daniel Suarez. Go ahead. Daniel, Stan Creekmore with RPMtonight.com. You kind of touched this already, but what, what would it mean for you tomorrow to take the checkered flag and be able to return to victory lane? Because you've been to this victory lane at Phoenix in the past. Yeah, definitely, definitely, it's, it, it can be a really, really good feeling for us. But uh, and to do that, we we have to work hard, and uh, we still have a lot of work left for today in the, in the second and third practice, and 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 try to try to put you know a good race car together for tomorrow, which I think we are going to be able to do that, and and after that, uh, try to. Try to beat our teammate, <laughs> Kyle Busch. He he's been unbelievable fast, but uh, but you know what? It's, it's 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 been really good to to learn from from him and and, and to to be battling with him side by side and and, and, and because in the end of the day yeah. we are learning from the best drivers. He's he's one of the best drivers out there this uh, right now. So so it's been good, but uh, but definitely we have to we know that when, when he's winning the races and we are just close to to get with him. We know that there is something there that we have to keep improving and, and get better. So, so definitely, it can be a really good feeling, but we have to keep working to try to be, uh, you know, a little closer to him or, or even a little bit better. Right here on the front row, if we could get Lee a mic. How has it helped having uh, a new crew chief, but a, a crew chief that ran and won the championship last year? How has that helped develop you as a driver? Well, definitely uh, Scott. He's a he's a he's a really good uh, crew chief. He's a really good person. I feel like we we are building our communication, our chemistry uh, in in a pretty good speed, to be honest with you. And and that's something that I really like. Uh, I really feel like our team is uh is uh is 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 very tight right now. I mean, everyone is is on the same page, and everyone is working for the same goal. Everyone knows that we have the speed and we have all the, you know, all, all the pieces to, to go out there and, and, and win races. So, so everyone is excited and ev everyone is hungry. And, and that's something, something I really like, it, you know, that everyone wants to go out there to win races. And, and it's even better when they know or we know that we have a shot, we, that we can have a shot every weekend. So, so I really like that. Uh, we, we, have, we have had a lot of time together, spending some time together, the whole team, and 
And, and I really feel, like I said, that we are building a good chemistry together. So really looking forward for, for what, we are have, what, 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 what we have right now going on and, and for the future as well. Yeah, we, we had a, a media tour in LA uh, for three days, and, and it was really fun. Uh, honestly, uh, like I said, Phoenix is like my second home, but the whole West Coast is always really good to me. Uh, a lot of a lot of good people, a lot of fans, uh, Latin American fans, and and uh, you know, I, I don't get to 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 racing home, but maybe this is the closest. So so it's always fun. Go ahead, Chris Knight. Chris Knight. Chris Knight, GetTrends.com. Nine straight top ten finishes carrying over from last season to this season. You've been able to go through a crew chief change and still be able to, to keep that streak alive. What is it just you're getting more comfortable in the Xfinity cars and you're coming back to Phoenix after finishing fourth last fall. How do you take that momentum into tomorrow's race? Well, <clears throat> actually, I didn't know that until you you say it. And, and that's that's really cool. Uh, I think it's... it's uh, it's something good that we we have been able to carry that momentum from last year to this year, even with the changes or, or the you know the, the difference uh, that we have on, on our racing. Um, but like I said, I I really give a lot of credit to my team because it seems like uh, all they do right now is to build fast race cars. Doesn't matter where we go, we have a we have a fast race car, and, and for a, for a driver like me. It's always very fun to have a fast race car that you know that you can have a shot to win the race. So, you know, if, if we keep doing what we are doing right now or, or even improving a little bit more, I really think that we, we are going to be able to keep that, you know, uh, the line of top tens and, and why not to, to put a, a win in there. David Scott over here on the uh, far left, please. Daniel, did you have a reaction to uh, Brian Francis' endorsement of Donald Trump? C can you repeat the question, please? D did you have an, a reaction to Brian Francis' endorsement of Donald Trump? <coughs> well, um, I think the, the, the first answer to this is that I, I'm not very big in politics. Uh, I've never been that way, and I, and I have a lot of interest in that. And honestly, I didn't know about all this deal until my PR guy, he called me that, that, that night and said, hey, Daniel, if somebody asks you about, the, about this, you'll be careful. And I said, about what? And he explained to me the whole thing because I didn't have any idea of, of what was going on. But honestly, uh, all I can say about that is that I'm super proud to be Mexican, to be a Latin American driver here in the United States. Uh, I have been very very lucky to, to have a lot of support from the United States and from NASCAR in the, in the past four years and what we got for, for, for this year so far, so four years and three months. Uh, and who knows, who knows, without being Mexican, I, w I wouldn't be here right now because it's been unbelievable the, the support that I have had from, from NASCAR through the Drive for Diversity program and all these programs to to put myself in the in the right position to, to get the opportunity that I have right now. So, like I say, I'm I'm very proud to be Mexican, and and whatever is going on with the politics, that doesn't change anything. Other questions for Daniel? Daniel, before we let you go, I always like to call on you because we do have so many Hispanic fans out there, not only of yourself but of our entire sport, and a lot of. Uh, Hispanic media are actually on site here today, but if you wouldn't mind, just talk about the excitement that you feel coming to Phoenix International Raceway. Express that to your fans, if you would, in Spanish, please. Sure. Pues bueno, eh, hola a todos. Un gusto, un gusto poder estar aquí eh, saludándolos y, y bueno, una vez más aquí en Phoenix, donde la última vez que que corrimos aquí el pasado octubre o noviembre, no recuerdo. Creo que este Tuvimos un carro muy rápido, alcanzamos a terminar en la cuarta posición. Entonces esperemos que, que se pueda mejorar eso. Eh, como ya lo mencioné ahorita, eh, Phoenix ha sido una pista que nos ha tratado muy bien. Nos sentimos como en casa cuando venimos aquí. Muchísimos fans latinoamericanos, hispanos, mexicanos. Entonces es un gran orgullo poder venir a correr aquí y ser competitivo. Ya tuvimos la oportunidad de, 
de terminar en el Victory Lane eh, una ocasión en la categoría mexicana hace un par de años. Entonces esperamos que, que podamos ser fuertes este fin de semana y, y por qué no repetir en el Victory Lane. Gracias a todos por su apoyo. Thank you very much, Daniel. A lot of luck to you this weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, up next we have Ryan Blaney. And Ryan drives the number 21 Motorcraft Quick Lane Tire on Auto Center Ford for Wood Brothers. Ryan's coming off a great performance last week at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And uh, he's uh, certainly... Uh,